Hello and welcome back everyone to Legacy of the Duelist on Rocket Rabbit Commentaries. And in this episode, we have to take Slow Burn into our rematch against uh, against Roman Goodwin. Because, uh, yeah, sorry, Rex Goodwin. You know, they're, they're brothers, okay? And they're both Dark Signers, and they both have got elements of uh, Earthbound Immortals that work for them. I I really do wish that I knew what the, what the fuck was going on with the Roman, with the uh, Goodwin brothers, but I don't. All right, as this uh, is annotations the go to mentions here, I don't know why Ro Goodwin and uh, uh, Goodwin and uh, why Rex and Roman are evil. Okay, like, uh, like I kind of get why Roman uh, went evil because he and uh, he, uh, he ended up being exposed to the Earthbound Immortals supposedly first, and then got uh, contacted by Illustar, and we and we will start um, we will see Illustar uh, uh, later uh, later on in the playthrough. But like, I don't understand why Rex got uh, Rex got uh, promoted to evil. <laughs> promoted. Okay, so thankfully this time we actually start with Marshmallow, on. and uh, Rex's primary strategy is still going to be the uh, uh, the uh, Moon uh, the Quila and Inti loop. Although he can depend on uh, on I believe he's actually running Raska the uh, uh, the uh, Phoenix uh, uh, the Phoenix EBI. So. The attack had failed. <laughs> okay, so here we use Fissure in order to blow up Giant Rat, and then we're going to use Blast Sphere in order to attempt to blow up uh, Moon Dragon Quila. Hell yeah, blow up the dragon. <laughs> uh, so what's new in the world of Cloud is, uh, as we, you know, are going to cut uh, Rex's life points in half here shortly. Well, happy to continue using my voice for purposes other than regular rabbit commentaries. Uh, but I was mentioning to you off recording that I did. I was just singing last night, and you may be able to observe so by the way my voice sounds because I uh, no applicable card to put down for the effect of dust tornado. I really go ham when I sing. I did uh, American Woman by guess who? American not the Lenny. Woman. Not the right that Get one away from me. Yeah. no 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 that's the lenny kravitz version you're singing oh. in c minor <laughs> see a lot of people see the young people don't realize that that song was originally done by the guess who in the key of e and then lenny kravitz made a cover of it in the key of c but a lot of people know that song by the Lenny Kravitz version. I would argue that the Lenny Kravitz uh, uh, version is just significantly more popular. So It is and significantly more so popular. So, instead of actually killing them with Blast Sphere, we're going to kill them using Mecha Bunny and Regeki. <laughs> Yay. Mm. And uh, switch Blast Sphere into attack mode and direct attack for game. This, folks, is why Regeki was banned for so goddamn long. Right, because... Oh, you got a board? No, you don't. Yeah. Oh, you have effects that say I can't target your creatures? My That's fine. My Regeki doesn't target. <laughs> hey, Rex and Roman. <laughs> you know what I find hilarious about this is that Roman refers to Italy and Rex refers to Greece because Rex is a Greek word. Is a Greek word. <laughs> Mm. All right, so um, now we have a slight time jump. But six months after the events of, uh, of uh, the Rome, of the Goodwin br brothers being thwarted, we are actually uh, we are actually um, uh, uh, attempting to show up in the uh, next tournament. Yeah, the tournaments are the tournaments are the con are the conglomeration of plot points for uh, for a good portion of five Ds. It's kind of wild, really. And these guys uh, that look like they are uh, futuristic cyberpunk alien uh, motherfuckers. These guys are 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 the uh, members of um, of the faction known as uh, El El Alistar. Uh, fuck it, it's Alistar. Also, we're uh, being introduced to a new uh, to a new member of the Five Ds crew. Not Crow. Crow was already here. Oh, you know what time it is? It's Popo time. Hey, Sherry. I actually really like Sherry. Uh, she doesn't get uh, as uh, pretty much any screen time at all, especially because for a, for a three-man tag tournament, she's actually only running two uh, members, herself and her butler. But um, Sherry's extended support is actually still being play, uh, played to, uh, today. Specifically, well, it was being played until about a couple weeks ago when we finally got the, ne the next uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! TCG banlist drop. 
Yeah. Uh, Sherry is specifically oh, yeah. running a variant of, of Yusei's uh, Synchron deck, focused specifically on a card called Flu uh, Fleur Synchron. And it works. Uh, she uh, Chevalier de Fleur is, uh, is honestly a very powerful Synchro monster. Uh, but because of, uh, because it's also effectively the only monster that she's running, well, she's relatively dependent on bringing out other stuff with uh, 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 bring out a bunch of normal monsters as well. Scrap Iron Scarecrow. So I have a question: Why did you save the Scrap Iron Scarecrow for Quick Draw? Uh, because uh, because killing uh, killing her uh, Noble Knight Artor Artorigus allows us to have an open board on her. Well, uh, instead of you know, in, in instead of. Um, she she could potentially have synchro summit. Well, no, actually, because there aren't any uh, level nine uh, synchro uh, synchro uh, warrior monsters. Gotcha. So it was intended using it your was, card. It was it was the fire. play that I wanted to do. It was, but um, I'm not I'm not. It's not necessarily uh, it's not necessarily the best play there. Well, we are waiting to see if she's going to normal summon a monster that has more than 800 attack points, and she did not. Uh, now, oh, I guess to sit on Scrap Iron Scarecrow forever! <laughs> well, long enough for us to synchro into... Uh, oh, what's uh, that, here it's probably going to be a Nitro Warrior, right? Because we actually have a full extra deck now. We got oh, turbo, right, we because got we junk, can't synchro we in the archer. Eight. We don't have turp. We don't have nitro warrior. Ugh. But, but I mean, like, they're really asking for a stardust synchro. The problem is we can't add up to eight right now. Yeah. The level stars have to be exactly equal. So instead, we're going to go into Junk Archer. Nice. Junk Archer is honestly one of Yusei's better removal options, despite the fact that it's temporary removal. But even with it being temporary removal, it is extremely effective at controlling board space. Yes, we want to banish the monster, but we choose not to. Damn it. Hm. That's fine with me. And what is the response? Oh, and she got access to her tuning before we did. Damn it. So now she's just gonna end her turn. Yep. Thank you, Synchro uh, Blast Wave. Cool. So target one monster your opponent controls. How about the monster that she put face down during the last turn? Oh, oh dear. Sorcerer de Fleur. Oh, that sucks. Mm, especially since now she gets to steal our Max Warrior. Uh, this is starting to look like uh, we're gonna need to hold her off a little while longer. Eh, uh, we might. I mean, we we still have access to Starlight Road, thankfully. Right, but we can't use Starlight. Oh, we oh, could right. start. We could use Starlight Road right now. We totally could. Right. But... I, for, I forgot the part that Starlight Road. Um, it only trigger. It triggers when your opponent does something. It, right. You don't necessarily have to have Stardust Dragon on the field. Well, what'd you do that for? I I didn't want her to have Sor uh, Sorcerer Diff Lure out. Oh well, yeah, but you could stall her until you got something going. Uh, no, I would just I would, I would have just lost Junk Archer. Okay, Scrap Iron to stop damage. Okay, there's another Quick Draw Synchron, which will allow me to um. Act you can go yes, into I'm, another night. Uh, you can go yeah, into can another, go to junk, another archer. junk Archer because I've got Aqua Bolts in my graveyard. Precisely, more than one actually. Unfortunately, uh, having more than one Quill Bolt doesn't actually matter right now because we don't have any um, uh, level nine uh, uh, a warrior uh, synchro monsters. Mm, uh, yes. I forget if there even is a nine. I don't think so because the eight is Junk Destroyer and Junk and Road Warrior, and Road Warrior is just terrible. So, uh, what's the deal with this one? Uh, Noble, uh, Noble Knight Joan is okay. Um, she specifically loses attack points whenever she uh, whenever she gets attacked. That she loses attack points whenever she gets attacked. Yep. There's our tuning. Thank you. So now we can get our junk, junk synchron. synchron. Nice. Yeah, use junk synchron. Uh, we milled a, a scrap iron scarecrow. Yes, not scrap iron scarecrow, but swift scarecrow. 
first attack directly. But first, she's gonna bring back Sorcerer de Fleur. Yep. Damn. That sucks. That Sorcerer de Fleur effect, bringing back our Junk Archer. Jesus Christ. Uh, All right, main phase second two. main phase. Now, banish Sorcerer de Fleur. Nice. Okay. And from there, yeah, it we're probably we're just gonna end here. Because although we've got that card, although we do have a uh, card breaker, uh, it's not actually going to help us here. So, yeah. Um. Well, we can go into the third Junk Archer. Uh. We could go into the third Junk Archer, but again, it doesn't actually help us here, so. Now well, going into the third Junk Archer would help us, but probably right. not. Because then Yay, we, can another really, tuning. we can really whack her for damage. Oh, which Synchron is the right Synchron? They're all the correct Synchron. <laughs> Alright, uh, Junk Synchron effect. Bring back Card Breaker. Or Speed Warrior in this case. Junk Synchron looks like a bishop. Um, he may as well be. He's uh, he is the uh, he is the center point of uh, of Yusei's deck, as as I've brought up plenty of other times. <laughs> center point, like a uh, chessboard position. So instead, we're gonna go into Junk Warrior using. Uh, I was I probably should have used that Quill there instead, but this way I get to do uh, some this... damage. Right, because now you can just run over the Sorcerer de Floor. Mm -hmm. Nice. Good freaking timing. That is why tuning is just a, a is just factually one of Yusei's most powerful spell cards. The ability to search out junk synchron whenever the fuck you need it, as well as fuel a uh, junk synchron's a great uh, uh, special summon effect, is extremely powerful. And now Starlight we get to Road. show off how amazing Starlight Road is. Fuck <laughs> yeah. Yep. Negate Star Cold, and then I get to cheat out a Stardust Dragon. Now, the, the whole stipulation here is that because Sardis Dragon was not summoned by Synchro Summon, that you can't summon him from the graveyard. Yes, but I can't, uh, but I can use Sardis Dragon's protection effect at least once, thankfully. Nice. That's going to come in handy, because, uh... uh not here. Shares... No, here, the game's just over. We can just use Junk, we can just use junk Archer in order to win. We decided, uh, we decided to let her actually, uh, uh, uh to, to let her actually, you know... Uh, risk uh, a battle, a bit on battle interaction instead. But we could have just won just by using the archer there. Thank you, Sherry. I beat you in a duel. Reveal your identity. Yeah, Sherry's trying to recruit us. She's not evil. Monsieur, Fudo. but she is French, so you know she's slightly evil. Oh God, that means that she had a French accent during the English dub. Um. I'm not entirely sure if she had a French accent, but she definitely was French. Mm, yeah. Uh, sh um, a None lot of the me. plot points for the upcoming <laughs> a lot of the plot points for the upcoming tournament specifically are that uh, are that we have to deal with uh, the fallout of what the fuck uh, Alistair did the first time that they were here, and uh, unfortunately. It's rather confusing about what the, happened the first time um, Illustar was here. The ultimate so, now obedient we're actually packing fiend. stuff from, uh, from Crow's pack, and we managed to score on our very first pack. Crow the back... Um, uh, uh, cr uh, not Crow the... Gale the Whirlwind, yeah. Gale the Whirlwind, which is famously one of the most powerful Blackwing monsters ever. Not only is it a tuner, not only does it have a special summon effect, but it can also, uh, but it can also half the attack and defense of, a, of, a, of a, an opponent's monster. Seriously, Gale the Whirlwind is absolutely amazing. Chaos King Archfiend is okay. Golden Apples is also okay, but not great. Mm, uh, to be perfectly honest, if you're looking for the Blackwing stuff, Crow, uh, Crow's Pack has got a majority of it. It also has a good portion of the Nordic, uh, the Nordic stuff and uh, the Fabled stuff as well. Um, I will say that uh, if you're looking for the uh, retrain of Blackwing stuff, some of that is in the Crow's is, is, in, is in Crow's Pack, but not a lot of it. Oh, Vanilla. look at Boonilla. He's so cute. Yeah, yeah, 2050 defense. Adorable. Yes, very adorable. 
Not relevant at all, but very adorable. Uh, Delta Crow Anti Reverse is one of the best spell trap remo removal traps ever printed, and uh, Zephyros the Elite was so fucking powerful that it has been limited pretty much ever since uh, ever since it got released. Yeah, Black Wings Black Wings have had a lot of stuff go either semi limited or limited, simply due, due to just how straight up powerful the uh, normal cards are. Uh, Black Whirlwind, uh, Gale the Whirlwind, and Zephyros the Elite have all been at least limited at one point or another. Now, thankfully, the, uh, the game is actually able to handle them uh, a bit better nowadays, but uh, mostly, uh, mostly through power creep and not necessarily through better uh, design decisions. Vortex the Whirlwind. Pretty much everyone I knew had a copy of Vortex the Whirlwind because it was released in a starter deck at some point. Let's see here, Nichiria Rock. Bora the Spear! We got a lot of very important key cards for Blackwings.